wanted to talk to you about a couple different things. First off, I wanted to talk to you about my weigh-in. So today, Sunday, is my weigh-in day, and I gained 0.3 pounds. I'm totally okay with that. It's the holidays. I have not been eating on track like I should be or like I want to be. But you know what? Part of one of my goals for the new year is to forgive myself when I don't do things the way that I want them done. You know, we kind of set these rules for ourselves and then when we blow it or we break the rules or we get outside of those boundaries we set up for ourselves, if you guys are anything like me, you get upset with yourself, you can get a little bit of depression, you feel like I'm a big loser, I can't even do my own rules. If you're like me, these thoughts come up for you. So I made a decision that moving into the new year, I am not going to do that to myself. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to lose the weight that I need to lose, that I want to lose for my health. And, you know, and let's face it, we all want to look good. And I don't care who you are out there. Anybody who says, I don't care what I look like ever, I feel like that is a rare breed. Maybe there are some people that just could, could totally care less. But for me, I am not that person. I actually do care because yet I'm in a competitive field with my job. Not I, YouTube is not my job. A lot of you ask me that a lot. YouTube is not my job. My job is that I'm a real estate broker, primarily in Southwest Florida. So you're in you know, dresses that are like, you know, sundress or shorts or whatever. And I personally don't do my best when I don't feel like I look my best. Now, you guys know, I always keep it real with you. And I know that there's probably some people that are out there saying, who cares? What does it matter what you look like? Well, if you're in that type of field, or even if you're not, most people want to look their best. Can we all agree on that? So the reason that I say all of this is because maybe it's something for those of you who are going to stay in calorie deficit mode, weight loss mode, blue dot mode, below 20 net carbs mode. That is totally okay. If you can do that during the holidays, you should if that's something you want to do. If you're like me and you feel like that might be unrealistic for you, allow yourself to maintain. Allow yourself a five pound window if that helps you get to where you want to be. So for me, what I feel like is when I loosen up the boundaries on myself just a bit, sometimes I'll make better choices. Does that happen with you guys that if you create too strict of a regimen for yourself, and I'm the queen of it. For those of you who've been watching me for any length of time, you know sometimes I'll get really rigid with what I'm going to eat and what I'm not. Every time that I do that, do I lose weight? Yes. Do you have videos earlier on, maybe a year ago, when I looked a lot thinner? You know why I looked thinner? Because I was. <laughs> But it might not be manageable or maintainable for me. I was at my lowest weight about a year and a half ago, maybe a little less than that, which was 136 pounds. I haven't been 136 pounds really since like a, a very long time. I don't even know, maybe high school or college. I have no idea. Actually, college, I gained a bunch of weight, so scratch that one. But you know what I'm saying? That might not be a weight that I can live life and be okay with. So my goal into 2021 is to do things right, to track, to continue to try to eat in a deficit, but not to be overly rigid with myself. Okay, so now the other thing that I wanted to talk to you all about is kind of all the rumors that are going on with WW. I'm not um, affiliated with them so much anymore. Um, you know, I kind of, my channel grew based on WW, based on Weight Watchers at the time, and then WW Freestyle. So as I've always said, I'm not a Weight Watchers basher at all. Now, I know they have some things going on right now that a lot of people feel, feel are a little bit sideways. I don't know 
all the rumors or what's true and what isn't true, I don't know. So I really can't speak to that. But what I do want to speak to is so, so many of you that are looking for a change or another plan. And I just want to throw some suggestions out there for you. So as you know, I always want you guys, all of my trackers out there to be program proof. I feel like when a company is out there putting their product out there, so they're, they're freestyle, they're blue, they're green, they're purple, they're whatever, they're South Beach, whatever it is. A company has to change those things from time to time because what ends up happening is people get it down or they stop losing or they look to other things and you know, there's always the latest and greatest or the new diet plan. There's the Mediterranean, there's the salt, the dash, the whatever. Um, so if you're a company, you have to always be cognizant of that. So I want you guys to be program proof. I want myself to be program proof. So for that reason, I count calories. Right now I'm using my fitness pal. It's free. If you're going on my fitness pal and you, somehow you have to pay for it, you might be, um, they're linked to Under Armour in some sort of kind of way. So just, it is free, you guys. Like you 99% of what you need is free. The recipes that you can build recipes, you can um, put restaurants in there, you can track, you can scan, it's all free. Now, the, if you wanna get really, really, um, down to the nitty gritty and micromanage your macros, then you would have to have the paid um, My Fitness Pal. But do you guys really want to do that? Is that really like, are we professional athletes or weightlifters? Because I'm not. I don't know about you guys. I'm not. I personally will walk. Um, and if I'm walking in the Florida sun, I do burn more calories because I'm like, sweating. But, you know, I don't, I don't jog. I don't, I'm just trying to get my heart rate up, count my steps and, you know, maybe burn a couple hundred calories along the way. So I don't eat my calories back. I also do a little bit of um, light repetitions with weights and I'll either use five pounds or eight pounds. You can buy them at Target or Walmart or whatever. Um, just to kind of tone up a bit, but you don't really burn calories doing that. So I don't eat my calories back. But that said, on a day, let's say I walk for an hour and I walk whatever. Let's say I walk five miles. That's a lot for me. Um, on that day, I will want those 1,450 calories. So I give myself a zone that I eat in. Now, if you don't want to do calories, I track bites is awesome. They have the same plans that WW does. It might be the teeniest, tiniest bit different, like I'm talking about a point or two here and there. There can be some times that I've noticed on iTrack Bites where you do have to look at, you can accidentally, just like on WW, you can accidentally choose something that a person has entered and then the points are a little bit off, but most of us notice that, you know what I mean? Like if a a hostess cupcake comes up at one point. We're going to double check that. We know that's wrong. But I track bites. You can do that. You can do that free. Or you can do the pro, which I have the pro. I bought it. I paid $29 for the entire year. The one thing that I love about that is that they allow a secondary metric, meaning you can track Let's say you were on the blue plan, and you I think that one is called Better Balance. So you can track your blue points, just like you would on WW, but you can also track calories at the same time. It gives you both. So you don't have to go back in, add it up on paper like you would have to do on WW. It just shows it to you. So you can see if you're hitting both your goals, and I really love that. So... I say this to you guys because I don't want you to feel like, I know there are a lot of us that were WW on YouTube and a lot of us have, for whatever reason, decided to change things up. You know, I personally love to change things up from time to time because I think that it works. It re-inspires you and sometimes we need that. And even if you change and go to a different plan for six months, and then you go back to your original, 
Sometimes it's what you need to kind of spark your body. Why do you think WW now has blue, green, purple? Because they're giving people choices and they're allowing people to say, this doesn't work, but maybe this does, or maybe this does for six months and now I have to go over to this over here. So I don't ever want you guys to feel like you're out there floundering on your own. I know a lot of us that were WW here on YouTube, are now doing other plans or doing other things. And, you know, I know before I did YouTube, that would happen to me when one of my favorites would switch to something different. All of a sudden I would be like, oh my gosh, now what am I gonna do? But that again goes back to program proof. And that is why I just can't say this enough. WW, blue, green, or purple, I don't care, is low calorie. It truly is. Add it up. Check what I'm saying. So, summary for today. I gained a little bit of weight. I am totally okay with that. Don't be too strict on yourself. Don't draw too rigid of a box around your diet during the holidays if it's something that's difficult for you like it is for me. And then also, consider other things. If you're not happy with WW or you're looking for maybe something to change things up a bit, but you don't want to stray too much from WW or if you just don't want to pay the whatever it is for you, 20 or 40 or $60 per month, try it. I track bites. They, like I said, they do have a free version, but for 30 bucks or whatever it is, roughly 30 bucks for the entire year, it might be another thing that you might want to consider to kind of ease yourself into something slightly different. Um, and just for the record, I have nothing to do with iTrack Bites or my Fitness Pal or any of these these things whatsoever. And for the record, same thing with WW. It just was the program that I used. I've never been an ambassador or a coach or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm really giving you my honest opinion.